Hi guys, Gage and Willow from Front Star TV here again. So joining me today, Bobby Scar, Mango. Guys, we just saw the top four of Melee at Super Smash Con 2015. Overall thoughts, opinions, are we surprised with Leffen's win, anything like that? Uh, not too surprised that he won, but the way that he won was uh, it's pretty dominant. I didn't expect it to be uh, that one-sided. Overall, it was a really good tournament. We had some six sets in top four and top eight, so I was really excited. Very cool. Mango? Oh, no, it was, uh, yeah, like Scar said, I didn't think he'd win that convincingly, but uh, he's looking real nice. I think he was definitely the favorite. A lot of good sets. Everything in top eight was actually amazing. A lot of good melee, good weekend, definitely. I know a lot of fans are probably wondering, why did you not enter this tournament? I was 13 minutes late. <laughs> and they, they didn't let me slide for 13 That's true. minutes. There's actually a big thing. How much do you want me to talk about this? A lot. I, I don't care. There's a big thing going on with like the top player privilege versus like, okay, tournament organizers need to be able to close the uh, close the registration window so that they don't go crazy after registration's closed, trying to pull people back in the tournament, change seating, etc. But I think that we have like, uh, you know, if you take a really big step back, I think this tournament would have been better if Mango was able to enter. So like, I think we need to figure out a way to, if Mango or Mata, uh, who else, PPMD, if they said at the last minute, hey, I want to enter, just let them enter, man. Like. Right. I'll, I'll ask Scar. I will put up the twenty-five dollars to have all four of them enter, like beforehand. Like, don't worry about it. So I think you know, it's just something that we're running into, and it's a big debate right now. And I hope that we end up on the side where we can get more top players entering because, like, they have followers. We all want to see it. Like, I don't think that any of the other top players would be upset that they have to play Mango and Bracket, right? Like, hopefully, the top players want to play the best players and win. So. Okay. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. I kind of, when I was, he was here, I had the impression that Mango was in this tournament, and to see that he was and he was just doing autographs Saturday night, I was like, that's kind of different, right? <laughs> Will, any other follow-up? So, so you got to commentate uh, the, the tournament. Was there any players that stood out to you playing better than what they normally do? What did you think of the overall? Uh, everyone played about, everyone in top eight was really good. They all played, there was a lot of really close sets. Uh, everyone played where they needed to play, and then Leffen just played the best today. Did you expect him to take it? He's definitely the favorite. Bobby, any standout guys from today's action you saw? Uh, biggest standout guy in the day is Plup for not being here. Ooh, yeah, I, was, I wanted to see Plup so he bad. Good. He's supposed to have registered. I, I really wanted to see if he Call him. Because, I mean, he right? He beat Leppin at Evo, amazing set, and like I think he gave Music King a run for his money. I feel like Plup is one of the people where like you would almost consider him as like a real threat to take the tournament. Whereas West Ball is like, on a really good day, he could be a threat, but like not every day. I feel like also Axe, he's got terrible matchups, so... You know, it's harder, harder for him. Uh, so I was really hoping that Plup would be here. I think West Ball's played really well. I, was, I don't know. I think everybody played pretty well. Played well. Yeah. Mac D uh, definitely shined in the character select screen where he put the scar tag on. <laughs> pretty, probably a standout performance. Awesome. Now let's talk about the con overall. Uh, what do you think of these crowds that showed up today? I mean, of course, we expect a big crowd from Melee all the time, but of course, Brawl was huge. Smash Brawl had a really good show. Yeah, so uh, overall impression of the con and just the fans being out here for this community event? Mango, actually, what did you think about like the number of people you interacted with? Is it more than an average tournament, or that's pretty nuts? I'm not sure why. I had like five different lines. Yeah, <laughs> like I've never seen lines that way. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. I actually just tweeted a, a, a picture of like the line for you and Leffen after commentary was over after that interview. It's, it's wild. It's like a new world. I saw Mango walk over to do top eight commentary, and then like 50 people lined up and like, oh, I've, I've got to go to work, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's so, that feel like? I, it's just normal. I don't know. It's just. Uh, <laughs> I, I've it's just come to expect it by now, so it's. I like I like interacting with you know people like me. I like showing the love that I can back, even if it's for like two seconds. So it's nice. I like yeah. It. Now are we gonna see you in this thing next year? Probably. Probably. Yeah, I'll definitely come back. I think that probably just the difference between calling like Big House, you know, a Smash tournament versus calling Super Smash Con a Smash Con probably brought out a lot more viewers. I, yeah. And I'm not sure that the experience is like all that much different. It definitely is different, but I mean. And it's a different vibe. Definitely but, uh, something more than the tournament. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah, which and it was. Yeah, community feel. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was cool. I like so that. really happy to have it, to add it to the lineup of, you know, Melee and Smash-related, you know, things that happen per year. I think it's really cool that it happens in the summer because, like, Summer of Smash is just such a big thing. People are out of school and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see SmashCon, what they do next year, and hope that it continues to grow. I hope so as well. Will, any final questions? No, I don't have anything else. All right, well, guys, thanks for yeah, joining yeah, us. Thank you so uh, much great for job today. Really Mango, hope to see you in the tournament next year. Uh, make sure, for all things Super Smash Con and all interviews from this uh, whole weekend, stick on Press Start TV.